Hello YouTube, China here. Uh, it's just me a quick video updating the Gishki list for the March 1st format. Uh, as many of you know, the ban list was announced, and One Day of Peace is limited on the new list. I have since gotten a ton of PMs asking whether the Gishki deck is dead, and if it's not, what I would do to change things. I recently had a discussion with Alan Pennington about the deck, and we came to the conclusion that these were probably the most optimal changes. Um, first, I added one Royal Magical Library. This is purely because the Gishki bot was returning a 2% higher win rate with two Royal Magicals versus one Royal Magical. And with Solemn Warning at 1, there's fewer things that can interact with the library when you're going second. Um, this might not be correct for a tournament environment, but it does improve the Goldfish. Uh, then I added three Cub of Aces. This was uh, Alan's big contribution. We were having a discussion, and then he said something, and then all of a sudden we both came up with the idea of, hey, Cup of Ace might not be bad. So basically what Cup of Ace is, is it is essentially another Upstar Goblin. Uh, because it, the estimated value for a Cup of Ace is one card, because half the time you'll be drawing two and half the time you won't. Now sure, it's half the time your opponent will be drawing cards, but that's not relevant because you don't really care how many cards are in their hand, how many cards they have. It's actually almost beneficial for you that they draw cards instead of nothing happening with Cup of Ace missing because it makes your hand destructions live should they try to turn them off by setting their hand or by using all of their cards. Um, when I added Cup of Ace to the list, Gishkibot started returning 6 or 7 percent higher uh, percentages than it did without the Cup of Aces. Um, so of course I had to make some cuts here. I cut two of the one day pieces because the card got limited, and I also cut the Magical Sun Excavation because with only one one day piece, it is harder to be on most of the plans that Magical Center Excavation really helped enable. And really the reason you played Magical Center Excavation was so that you could be on the card destruction plan when you couldn't go infinite. And really there's just so many ways you can go infinite since I started playing the deck that it's really not needed anymore and you're very rarely actually needing a uh, Magical Center Excavation. I just thought it was better to just play Cup of Ace. Uh, I also cut the two Dark World Dealings from the standard list to add another Magical Mallet. Uh, the Magical Mallet was just a higher uh, percentage on the Gishki bot. It wound up being 2% higher to have Mallet over the dealings. So yeah, uh, overall the list lost a 3% win rate according to Gishki bot. I don't know what that actually translates to when you start doing value auguses, but I can't imagine it's much. It probably lost around 25 to 3% uh, on this first turn goldfish rate. It did lose quite a lot in its control game by losing one day of pieces, so you can't one day of piece people out. This makes uh, my dragon draw deck from last year completely dead, because the, the entire deck relied on one day of piece stalling your opponent out until you could develop a hand. This deck was not as reliant on that, uh, and as such, the limit of one day of piece is not affected anywhere near as much, especially with the cup of ace replacement for the draw one effect. Um, so, yeah. Uh, until next time, this has been China giving you an update.